Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so I'm aware that I'm very off centre right now. I just can't be bothered to fix it. <laughs> it's fine, it'll do. Uh, so, I. Uh, End of the month roundup at time, I guess. Um, so, my October has been interesting. Um, there's not like loads I can say about it. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it's been a bit of a weird one, actually. Um, so most of the month um, I've been waiting for some um, some sad news to come in. Um, so my my step grandmother, so my dad's side, my step grandmother um, has been very unwell and has been reaching the end of her life. Um, so most of the month we've been waiting on that news to hit, and that news did hit this morning. So obviously. I'm feeling very sad about that, um, both on like a personal level, I mean, I, I knew her for about 16, 17 years, so I've known her for a long time, um, so she's been very much a part of my family for a long time, so obviously I, I, I there, there is a, a genuine connection and a genuine sense of loss there, but I'm also feeling very sad uh, for the sake of my stepmother. Um, because obviously, you know, she had a fairly good relationship with her mother and she was fairly close to her. Um, so even though, you know, I'm not necessarily as close to my stepmother as I am to my own mother, that doesn't mean, like, I don't, you know, care. Obviously, I care. She's part of my family. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm sad that my step-grandmother has died for the same reason. She's part of my family. Um, it's not necessarily hit me as hard as it would have if I hadn't had like a few weeks of kind of thinking about things and contemplating things so it's, it's one of those sort of very prolonged grieving processes where I've not been at any stage like overly overly sad about things um but at the same time I have had that constant you know constantly thinking about her constantly you know um preparing myself for this news to come in so it's that very sort of different mindset and a very sort of different way of, of dealing with things um when you've, you've had that sort of time to sort of go through a sort of pre-grieving grieving process um when the, the news does sort of happen it does sort of hit it still hits it still makes you feel really sad but it doesn't necessarily hit you as hard as when it is a lot less expected um so yeah, that's very much the place where I'm at with it right now. And obviously, because as I said, this is something I've been preparing for for a few weeks. It's very much been the mood of my October. Um, so yes, I I have done uh, other things, and yes, you know, life has been happening around this. But as I said, a lot of my thoughts have been on it. A lot of my uh, feelings have, have been around it. Um, Obviously, you know, this, this is a part of my family and it's it's very sad that, you know, she, she's no longer going to be with us. Um, and sort of having had a few weeks of knowing this was, this was coming, just not necessarily knowing when this was coming, um, means that it's very much been this thing that has become very much my October this year. Um, so it's a very kind of odd reflection um oh, an odd month to kind of reflect on for me because yes on the one hand there are definitely other things i could talk about um probably slightly more positive things that i can talk about um but in terms of what i feel like my october has been and the mood i feel my my october has had um i very much feel like that's that's kind of been it that sort of um you know the love that's been going out uh to to my to my step grandmother um like the thoughts i've i've been sending out to my step grandmother um 
and just waiting to hear news um, about how she was doing and you know making sure that you know um, when when I then when people have checked in with me um, about how she was doing making sure that it was, she was comfortable and letting you know people know that I'm, I've been thinking about her and I've been thinking about my stepmom and sending lots of love out to them um, but yeah it's as I said it's it's an odd one because I feel like it, this has been my October and I know it's not the only thing that has happened during this this month it's not the only thing that I've thought about during this month, um, there have been a lot of other thoughts going on in my head and a lot of other things that, you know, have come up and I have dealt with during this month, but if I were to honestly assess what I feel my October has been, my October has very much been my thoughts being with my step-grandmother and my feelings being with my step-grandmother and, you know, hoping that she's comfortable and hoping that when the end did eventually come that she was peaceful and that she was ready and comfortable and that she wasn't you know any anything negative I can't you know necessarily tangibly think of the words right now um but yeah I I would definitely say that that has been my October that my October has been very much thinking and and feeling and sort of not like waiting for her to die but just hoping that she's comfortable and hoping that you know she's not in any pain she's not in any distress you know and as I said what I've been hearing back is that she has been you know comfortable that she has been well taken care of during these final few weeks um so that's that's to me that's that's good that's what I want to be hearing that's what I want to know and that's you know but like, you know, I, I definitely spent the entire month, you know, thinking about her, sending her my love and, and stuff like that. Because as I said, she's she's a part of my family. So even though a lot of other stuff has happened this month, I feel like this is the best way of summing up this month. I don't think I could respectfully talk about anything else that has happened this month without diminishing the fact that actually you know what for me this month has very much been about my my concerns and my um preparation like mentally and emotionally for this passing to occur and and it is a tragedy it's very sad it's you know it's another piece of my family that's no longer here um so I I feel like it would be very disrespectful to uh to my family and to my step grandmother to really rabbit on about any of the other kind of things that I kind of done as ways of distracting myself from the fact that I knew this was coming um when in reality the entire month even when I've sort of been distracting myself even when I've been thinking about other things the entire month I've still had thoughts and feelings and whatever else focused on on the fact that you know I knew this was this was coming and it is very sad and it is something that yes I've given myself a lot of time in the lead up to this to sort of process everything and come to terms with everything and um, come to terms with all my feelings um, but that doesn't mean that when it, when it has happened and, and um, certainly this morning I did find myself a lot more upset than I thought I would be because I, I thought I was more prepared for it than I was but I think in reality it's one of those things where you never you're never fully prepared for it even if you you've gone through all this sort of like processing and you've gone through all of this um yeah you, you still sort of when it when it does hit it will still get you um so I I'm definitely still feeling a lot sadder about it than, than I was expecting but at the same time I wouldn't want to be feeling less sad about it um either so I feel like yeah it's I know it's an odd I know it's a very odd month roundup. Um, I know it's not, you know, sort of like the usual kind of month roundup that I, that I do. Um, but when I sort of sat down and started talking about this, I was just like, yeah, you know what? 
this is this is my October. Um, like my October has been very much dedicated to my to my step grandmother, and rightfully so. Um, she was a wonderfully kind woman who um, always showed me and my brothers um, the, the greatest amount of affection um, and treated us like, you know, we were part of her family and we treated her like she was part of our family because we were family. Uh, step or no, that doesn't make a difference. Um, if you're family, you're family. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it's very sad that this has happened and now that it, it kind of has, I feel like I'm able to sort of be very honest about what October has been for me and I very much feel like my October has been very much dedicated to uh, my step-grandmother and um, A, sort of mentally preparing myself for all this happening, B, sending out, you know, positive thoughts and, and, and love and stuff. Um, in, in you know in the hopes of, of her sort of being comfortable and whatever else um you know in her final days and, and weeks and stuff so yeah I, I feel yeah this this is the best way of summing up what my October has been and yeah I know it's not my usual way of summing up a month but I feel like it's the most honest way of summing up this month um so with that said, I'm going to round this one up here. Um, I'm not going to do my usual sort of outro -y bits. Um, I'm just going to say that, you know, I hope wherever you are um, out there that you're okay. Uh, if you've got a loved one that you can hug, go hug a loved one. Uh, let, them, you know, let the people that you care about know that you care about them. Um, and I will see you next time. See ya.